Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. We're going to jump right into today's flow. Come to a kneeling position at the back of your mat. If it doesn't feel comfortable to sit on your heels, you can take a block and set it in between your heels, rest in your bum there. We're going to take a big inhale as our arms rise up to the sky. And then exhaling the hands back to the floor. Nice and slow inhale. Air into the lungs as you take your gaze to the fingertips. And exhale it back down. One last time. Big inhale, filling up the lungs. Gaze to the ceiling. Take a little pause at the top. And then exhaling the arms back down to the floor very slow. Place the left hand down as the right arm reaches up to the sky. And then we're going to take a collapse of the chest towards the floor. The fingertips reach down. As you exhale and inhale it, reaching back up to the sky. So as you exhale, collapsing the chest down, you should feel a big stretch along the back. The upper back and shoulder blades, inhaling as it comes back up to the sky. One last time, reaching down, collapse the chest. And then inhale, reach it up to the sky. Let the left hand meet it and then replace right hand on the floor, left arm reach into the sky, same thing this side, collapsing the chest, feeling a nice big stretch along the shoulder blades, exhaling to the floor, inhale as it reaches to the sky, exhale one more time, collapsing the chest, and then inhale it right up to the sky, let right hand meet it, take a big inhale, and then exhale as hands come through a heart center. Now you can stay on the block or remove it if you're there. We're just going to take the knees about as wide as your mat. Put the big toes together and then reach forward through this wide like a child's pose. Collapsing the chest and the forehead to the mat. Now if it's a little too far to reach for the forehead, you can take that block or a rolled up blanket and let the head rest there. Just taking some nice Big inhales and exhales here to settle in between the legs. And then we're going to walk the hands off the mat to the left side, really hugging into that left thigh. You can take the block with you if you're using it. Breathing deep and trying to collapse closer and closer to the mat while feeling that big stretch to the right side body. Then coming back through center off to the right side. This time feeling that big stretch through the left side body. Continuing those big inhales and exhales. And then coming back to center one last time just to kind of find that more neutral spine. Take a few more breaths here. And we'll rise up onto our hands and knees and we'll take this bird dog position. So extending the left arm and right leg. We're not arching into the back. We're just touching the floor and coming back to this position. Just connecting to the core for the first time today. Touching the floor and then rising back up. One more time, touch the floor. Come back to this neutral spine. Nice long line. Hold for just a second. And then bring it back to the mat. Taking the other side, extend left leg and right arm. Touching the floor and then coming up. Just doing light touches again, trying not to arch into the back. Just having a nice long line. Using the core to keep that line nice and straight. Touching again, coming back up and holding for just a second using that core. And bringing them back to the mat. Take a nice roll through the spine here. You can take traditional cat and cow positions. Or you can just circle through the hips. Doing whatever feels good for the spine. And the hips here. Rolling both ways. And then when you're ready, tucking the toes. And pressing up into your down dog. Taking a generous bend in the knee. Especially if this is your first down dog of the day. I love to take a bend in the knee here just to make sure that we're striving towards that straight line from your tailbone to your wrists. Then you can alternate 
reaching one heel to the floor and then the other. Again, you do not have to straighten the legs, just reaching the heels towards the floor to feel that. Stretch in the hamstrings, start to open up a little bit, taking it really slow, and then coming back to a still position. Now we're going to rock forward till the shoulders are over the wrists, coming towards the plank position, and then rock the hips back to our down dog. Again, just feeling the core fire up. Should be feeling pretty warm by now, but just helping that strength and endurance in the core. Coming to plank and back to down dog. You can do that as many times as feels good. And then finding a static down dog again. Again, do not have to straighten these legs. I rarely do. We're going to inhale the right foot to the sky for our three-legged dog. And then as we bend the knee, bring it forward. If it doesn't quite make it to the top of the mat, you can lift it up and place it there or stand up and place into your high lunge. Big inhale here at the top. And then exhale as you place the hands on the floor and reach that foot back up to the sky where it came from into our three-legged dog. Then we're going to bend the knee and bring it back the same way, trying to place it at the top of the mat. Inhaling as we rise up to a high lunge keeping that back leg as straight as possible, then exhale the hands down, lift up the foot, reach it back up to the sky. Bend the leg one more time, place that right foot at the top of the mat, inhale to high lunge, feeling a stretch in front of that left hip, exhale as the hands come down, reach the foot back up to the sky one more time, and then exhale it down to the floor to meet your right foot. Reposition if you need to find that good alignment again. And do the left, same thing on the left. Toes to the sky, bend the knee, bring it forward. If it doesn't quite make it there, pick it up and place it. And then inhale as you rise up to your high lunge. Exhale as you place the hands on the mat, reach the foot to the sky. Bend the knee, bring it forward again, trying hard to place it at the top of the mat. Inhaling up into your high lunge and then exhale as the hands meet the floor and the foot rises to the sky again. Bend the knee, bring it forward one last time. Inhale to high lunge. Nice and strong in the legs. And then exhaling the hands meet the floor, pick up the foot, reach it back up to the sky. And exhale it to meet the other foot. Now we're going to come back onto the right leg, reaching it to the sky in your three-legged dog. This time as you bend it, you're bringing it through that window on the left side off to the left side of your mat. And then reaching left hand to the sky and your left heel can meet the mat, this fallen star position. Then collapse everything back towards the mat and reach it back up to the sky. Bring it down to the mat, left leg reaches to the sky and then weaving it through that window off to the right side of the mat, right arm reaches up for fallen star on this side. And bring the right hand back down and reach left foot back up to the sky. We're going to take the same thing on both that sides again. Right leg to the sky, bend it, reach it through, really lifting up through the left side body here. Taking a little bit faster, reach it up to the sky. And then back down to the mat, left leg takes a turn. Coming through that open window, right arm reaches to the sky. And then exhale it back down and left leg reaches back up. And let it come down to reach the mat and the other foot. You can bring the knees back to the mat now and take a nice child's pose. You can take that wide legged position or the narrow, and again, you can use the block to help the head reach the mat. Just take a moment here to slow the breathing. We've been moving quite fast. Just coming back to connect with the breath a little bit, and then remove the block if you've been using it, and come up to hands and knees. Now we're gonna rock forward to this assisted plank, so we're staying on the knees, just striving for that straight line from a knee to our head, and we're lowering 
through this tricep push-up position, a chaturanga if you will, slowly as we can to the belly to the mat. You can push up into an up dog or a cobra and then go back to that child's pose that we just were in. Again, we're going to come forward to this assisted plank, nice straight lines from our knees to shoulders and then lower as slowly as we can, elbows tucked in nice and tight to our sides lowering and keeping the core nice and strong until the belly meets the mat push up into that cobra and then exhale into the child's pose we'll take it one last time rock forward to assisted plank lowering as slowly as possible this time moving through slow motion till the belly meets the mat push up into your up dog or cobra and then exhaling back into child's pose. You can take another moment here or you can inhale as you come to sit up on the heels. I like to take some cat and cow positions here on my knees as well. Just taking the spine forward and back, reaching the chest forward as I inhale and then exhaling as I round out the back, take the chin to chest. Just a few to make sure my spine is feeling nice and loose and ready for the day. You can take circular motions if that feels better or just move the neck. Whatever feels good. Let's take one last big inhale together as our arms reach towards the sky. And then exhaling the hands through heart center. Thank you so much for practicing with me today and I'll see you next time.